Hello children, welcome to Marvelous Pants. I am Sunil. In this lesson, we will learn more about the numbers 11 to 20. But let's begin by reading out the numbers again. This is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let's try counting them from the biggest to the smallest. That will be 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11. Here are two numbers, 13 and 18. Let's count on from 13 to 18. We take 13 and hold it in our heads. Then we start counting on to 18. So after 13 comes 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Very good. We counted on from the smallest number 13 to the biggest 18. Here are 15 and 11. Now let's count back from 15 to 11. So we hold 15 in our heads and start counting back. After 15 comes 14, 13, 12, and 11. That's very good. We counted back from the biggest number 15 to the smallest number 11. Here are some oranges. Can you help me find the total? Let's start counting. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 oranges. We can also call the number 12 as 12 ones. Here are some spoons. Can you help me count the number of spoons? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 spoons. We can also call the number 14 as 14 ones. Let's look at the 12 oranges again. Here is a box and I'm going to put the oranges in. Let's count together as I do it. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oops, the box is full, but we still have 2 oranges left. So that's 10 oranges in the box and 2. Now, let's look the 14 spoons. I need to group them in a set of 10 and put them in this box. Let's do it together and then we can see how many are left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
ten. Ten spoons and four extra spoons. So we have a box of ten and four extras. Here are the oranges we had put into the box just now. We have a box of ten and two extra. So this group of ten oranges is called one ten and the two extra are called two ones. Since there are 12 oranges all together, the number 12 consists of the digit 1 that shows 110 and the digit 2 that shows two ones. Here are the 14 spoons we had counted earlier. We have a box of 10 and 4 extra. So this group of 14 spoons is made up of 110 and 4 ones. For the number 14, we can say that the digit 1 shows 110 and the digit 4 shows 4 ones. Now, how many tens and ones are there in 20? Here are 20 mango steams. And when we put them into tens, we will have two tens and no remainder. So that means 20 consists of two tens and zero ones. Let's look back at what we learned just now. We learned about count on, which means we count from the smallest number to the biggest. This is called ascending order. If we want to count on from 14 to 16, we will hold 14 in our heads and then count. After 14 comes 15 and then 16. We also learned about count back, which means we count from the largest number to the smallest number. This is called descending order. If we want to count back from 20 to 17, we will hold 20 in our heads and then count. Before 20 comes 19 and before 19 is 18 and then 17. We also learned about tens and ones. We learned how to separate a number into tens and ones. For example, if I had 15 sweets and I grouped them into a group of 10 like this, we will get a group of 10 and a remainder of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sweets. So we have 1 10. And how many ones? Yes, 5 ones. Now, when we look at the number 15, you will see that we can easily break it up into tens and ones. Right? So, tell me which is the 10 and which is the 1? Yes, the 1 is the 10, and the remaining are the 5 ones. Now, look at this number, 16. How many 10s and 1s are there? Yes, 16 has 1 10 and 6 ones. Look at this diagram. Can you tell me what the number is? Yes, it's 17. That's because there is 110 and 7 ones. One ten and 6 ones is 12 
14 or 16? Yes, the answer is 16. What is the value shown in the diagram? Yes, it's 110 and 3 ones, giving a value of 13. How many ones are there in 17? Correct, there are 7 ones in 17. What number is 4? more than 16. So, we hold 16 in our heads and count on. That is 17, 18, 19, 20. 4 more than 16 is 20. What number is 3 less than 17? We hold 17 in our heads and count back. That is 16, 15, 14. 3 less than 17 is 14. Fill in the missing numbers in the blanks. Before 13 is 12. So, the missing number before 13 is 12. After 13 comes 14, 15, 16. So, the two missing numbers after 13 and before 16 are 14 and 15. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. 12. How many 10? How many 1s? 19. How many 10? And how many 1s? 12 is 1 and 2. So 12 has 1 10 and 2 1s. 19 is 1 and 9. So 19 has 110 and 9 ones. Well, that's the end of this lesson. Bye!